Oh, the last time there was a total solar eclipse in the U.S., you certainly couldn't be doing what we're doing right now on our Fox 4 Facebook page, streaming everything that we're witnessing to all of our followers and friends. Now, all the carriers have been doing everything they can to prep for this big event, but there's really no telling right now whether they're going to be able to handle the surge. Because the blue line's the closest to the totality. There are plenty of apps to help you find the best location to see the solar eclipse, and plenty of ways to share all your photos and video. The question is, will any of it actually work the day of the eclipse? No, the sun being blocked by the moon won't crash connections, but the hundreds of thousands of people in the same general area calling and posting at the same time certainly could. You go to a rural location where you already have spotty or limited uh, cell service, you're probably not going to get any cell service at all because of the uh, overload of the network from people trying to live stream or to share the event on social media. Sprint tells me they've added more capacity to cell towers in St. Joe. Right now, their mobile cell towers are all heading to Oregon and Idaho. If networks overload, there could be bigger problems than just failed uploads. Well, if you can't get a signal on your cell phone, then you're not placing any kind of call, whether it's a 911 call or a call to your spouse. Travelers could be left without GPS. And if you don't have it, 911 dispatchers may not have those location services either, even if you do get through. Anytime you call 911, the first question they're going to ask you is, what's your location? So it's very important that you just be aware of your surroundings, be, know where you are. It's, it's very important. There are mechanisms in place, there's technology in place, but technology doesn't always work. Look for trail markers like these that can help give your exact location to dispatchers. And remember, texting requires less data than calling. It's available at the more than 30 911 dispatch centers in the nine county area surrounding Kansas City. They're increasing dispatcher staffing by 33% that day, expecting plenty of calls. So as tempting as it might be to stream this and share it with all your friends, really your best option, make sure you record it as just to press that record option. Make sure you save it. Also free up some of the data for emergencies. Cell phone carrier is also telling me to make sure you turn off your automatic updates the day of the event and just try to uh, make it the best for everyone possible. Dave Marco, Fox 4 News, working for you live in Kansas City. Dave, multitasking there. We're on Facebook, we're on TV, and even though the sky will go dark, you won't be blacked out during the eclipse. We're on the eclipse too. Fox 4 working for you with the big blackout 2017 special. Set to air Saturday, August 19th, this coming Saturday, 6 p.m. You can also watch it again Sunday night at 11.